will discuss about the fourth ventricle. First of all, we will make a diagram. Here is In this diagram, this is midbrain. This is midbrain. This is pons. Here is medulla oblongata. Here is superior colliculus, this is inferior colliculus of midbrain. This is superior medullary velum. This is superior medullary velum. Here. Lingula, it is this is nodule, this is cerebellum. This section passes to the burmese this is sagittal section it passes through burmese so this is cerebellum here is lingula this is lingula and this is nodule this is nodule this is part of burmese so this is part of burmese, this is part of burmese, this is lingula, this is nodule. Here is position of fourth ventricle in this diagram. From here to here, this part. This part is fourth ventricle. Here, this is cerebral aqueduct. Cerebral Aqueduct through which this fourth ventricle communicate with the third ventricle. This fourth ventricle communicate with the here is central canal. It communicate with the central canal of the medulla oblongata and of the spinal cord and here in midline there is aperture here this aperture is medial aperture or foramen of magendi this is foramen of magendi Imagine this foramen through which this fourth ventricle communicate with here is this is fold of pyometer. This is fold of the pyometer. Here is pyometer, and there is another fold. This is Arachnoid. This is arachnoid. This is arachnoid matter. So between pyometer and arachnoid, there is space 
this space is known as cistern. This is cistern. This is sub space. Here it becomes dilated and forms cistern. According to position, this cistern is named as cerebro medullary cistern between cerebellum and medulla. This is cerebellum medullary cistern. This cistern is known as cerebellum medullary cistern. This is also known as cisterna magna. This is also known as cisterna magna. Cisterna magna. This is cisterna magna. So here in medial plane, through this foramen, this is foramen magendi, this coarse ventricle communicate with cisterna magna. This is cisterna magna. This is large subarachnoid space. This also, fourth ventricle, also communicate with this cisterna magna on lateral side by two opening, right and left opening. These are right and left apertures and these are known as foramen of lusca. Foramen of lusca will make in under diagram. So this fourth ventricle superiorly communicates with third ventricle through cerebral aqueduct. Inferiorly, it communicates with the central canal, and posteriorly, it communicates with the cisterna magna through this foramen, foramen major. And on lateral side, from here, lateral side, it also communicates through this uh, through uh, foramen lusca to this. So these are communication of the fourth ventricle. Now, this fourth ventricle has, you can see in this diagram, this is floor of the fourth ventricle. This is a roof of the fourth ventricle. So floor is formed by here pons and medulla. A roof is formed by these structures. And it has lateral boundary. These are lateral wall. And it has four uh, it has four angles, superior angle, inferior angle. These, there are two lateral angles. If you make a diagram, this is we are Two follicles, these are these are superior colliculus, here is superior colliculus, inferior colliculus, superior inferior colliculus, and here is Superior cerebellar peduncle. This is superior cerebellar peduncle. And here is This is inferior cerebral peduncle. Here is inferior cerebral peduncle. Inferior cerebellar peduncle. So it is boundary, it is bounded. It's lateral wall on superior lateral side. It is formed by 
right and left superior side of the peduncle and on inferior side the inferior lateral wall is formed by inferior cerebral peduncle along with these two tubercles this is gracile tubercle this is tunear tubercle tunear tubercle and gracile tubercle so superior lateral wall is formed by superior cerebral peduncle right and left inferior laterally it is bounded by inferior cerebral peduncle up left and right side and tunear tubercle and gracile tubercle so these are lateral walls it has four angle this is superior angle inferior angle superior angle inferior angle it has two right and left angle so these are four angles present in this and the thing it's it has five recess if you make a diagram of the recess you see here it will like this this is lateral recess here is lateral recess this is lateral recess here is dorso lateral recess here is dorso medial recess so these structures are recess this is main cavity and these are extensions of this and these are recess these are two lateral right and left lateral recess dorso lateral recess and dorso medial recess here in this diagram this is dorso medial recess cavity is like this and here like this in the medial plane this is dorso medial recess and here this and this finger form the dorso lateral recess and here on lateral side here lateral recess right and left lateral right, right and left lateral recess are formed so in this diagram you have seen the angles lateral wall and recess of this fourth vertical after this we will discuss about the floor of the fourth vertical and a roof of the fourth vertical so in this part we have seen all this in second part we will discuss about the floor thank you